Hey everyone, welcome back. As I said before, this is a follow-up to the previous video on Atena Detron. Specifically, we're looking at the new best toy for Meg and her Magnetize. You probably saw the teaser already, so there's no use really hiding it further. Move aside Penta and Ogres, and basically any other launcher, the new best weapon for Magnetize is... Tenant Archiplasmor. A non-launcher, you say? I dug around and it seems for some reason this hasn't really caught on yet. But I'll break the news to you, this thing is ridiculous. Just like Tenet Tetra, using Tenet Plasmor this way isn't even the same weapon anymore as the original. First, let's take a look at how it showcases. This is a full build, keep in mind. So I go over here, cast Magnetize, shoot into it, and... Yeah, they're dead. Instantly. Sometimes one or two survives, but the damage output is insane, especially for a non-AoE weapon. You may think it's because of Plasmor's fat projectile, but that's actually not the case. Let's swap over to the regular Plasmor. I can't and don't want to put Merciless Arcane on, and I can't get Toxin or Cold Innate on this, so it's costing me an extra slot to make Viral. I also can't slot Modus Setup, but the point is, if Tenet is that strong, this should still do something, right? Well, let's try it out. I'll even let the Galvanized Hell stack up first. Alright, now we cast Magnetize. I shoot... And... Nothing. I barely even tickled them. This damage disparity doesn't really represent the missing mods. In fact, actually, let's switch back to Tenant Archiplasmor again. Okay, so I'm gonna take off Modus Setup because honestly it's kind of annoying. Uh, let's also take off all of our multi-shot from Galvanize Hell, so now we only shoot one bullet. I'm also going to take off Galvanize Acceleration in case you thought that the extra flight speed matters. Finally, let's also take off the Primed Cleanse. This mod is a 2.4x multiplier to my Slash DOTs, and a fat 1.55x multiplier to all of my upfront damage. Removing this is a massive damage nerf. Alright, so now I've lost my extra status, I've lost all my multi-shot, and all my DOT multipliers. I'm doing basically roughly 10 times less damage now. Actually. Let's take off Primary Merciless also. Now I'm even removing 360% base damage. This is over half my total base damage, as all I had was the innate 100 and 165 from Prime to Point Blank. So we're doing over 20 times less damage now, right? Alright, let's spawn in these Corrupted Heavy Gunners again. Magnetize and shoot. And it still kills them in a single shot, with three mods missing and no Exilus. Now why would this be? I have a few theories, but I believe the main reason is because of Tenant Archiplasmor's ricochet effect. It appears to have a much longer lifespan than expected and is ricocheting within Meg's bubble itself. Because it doesn't have a ricochet limit, except when it expires and it's barely moving in place, it seems like it causes multiple hits on the center of the magnetized bubble. And because it has a 3 meter hitbox, well, it hits all of them. This reasoning is the one that makes the most sense to me, but honestly, this weapon is extremely good even without this interaction. All I really know is it's hitting much more times in the middle by like an absurd amount compared to the normal Plasmor. It is a massive upgrade from Arca Plasmor, and I would strongly recommend picking it up. Its stats are good enough to be built hybrid and not pure status. For my original review on the Tenet Plasmor, check out the card in the top right. That should be popping up... now. Besides that, let's take a closer look at this build again, and why I chose to do it this way. This is an all-purpose max DPS tenant, Plasmor. Once Galvanized Savvy works on this gun, we'll get even more damage, and I would replace Prime Point Blank with it. Honestly, the only real difference between the three builds I have at the top is the reload mods and the base damage mods. But if I choose to build this for Meg, technically it is better to go full corrosive instead of viral because the upfront raw damage is so high you don't really need those slash DOTs. But as you saw, it honestly doesn't even matter what element I pick because of how much damage the Tenet Archiplasmor does. So remember that, I'm even on the wrong element and I'm still completely destroying all of these corrupted heavy gunners in one shot. If you have Panzer, you can drop Chilling Reload for Prime Tactical Pump on the other build. Combining this with Merciless will cut the reload all the way down to 1.3 seconds and is nearly unnoticeable. Now this one is the max quality of life setup, but you will be entirely reliant on Panzer since you're going for more reload and not innate viral or more raw corrosive. 
the original viral build just runs prime point blank and modus setup instead of galvanized savvy but because that mod currently still doesn't work there isn't really a difference between those builds and the third one at the moment this build just has less scaling but it's just good out of the box enough and isn't dependent on inflicting any status to scale your damage further just the innate viral is what it uses in comparison the max dps build is entirely reliant on status to fully maximize its potential especially once savvy is fixed and we replace prime point blank with modus setup this means you will want to run a panzer for viral consistency and a melee primer such as zorus or exodia contagion or epitaph if you want to see how a melee primer works after the Sisters of Parvels update, there are fantastic examples of it used in my previous video covering Tenant Detron I uploaded earlier today. Check that out at the top right cards that should be popping up right now. Now as I did say I have a bunch of ideas ready to go, well, here's a clip of something I'm testing and near completing. Expect to see this one tomorrow. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Now, as this is a Meg Plasmor video, it would be an absolute shame to not include Steel Path gameplay to support what I'm saying. So, without further ado, here you go. Now tell me, have you seen another stock weapon do this before with Meg? I'll be waiting down in the comments. Remember this can still get way stronger once Galvanized Savvy works and we don't even have any buffs or helmet on. And if you gain access to ribbons for more critical chance and critical damage, or even faction damage, you can only imagine where this is gonna go. If this is your first time watching, feel free to leave a like, or better yet, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. 79.5% of you are not subscribed. I'm trying my best to get you new information out always as soon as possible, like I've done with covering the Tempest Starry and the Sisters of Parvos updates. Stick around if you want to see interesting memes and builds on a nearly daily basis. I'm also preparing to get you the info first once more new war info drops. You don't want to miss out on any of that, do you? That'll be it for this video, thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.